Had you ever swam that far before? Uh, no. What, what's, <laughs> what's the furthest you swam prior to that? Just the pool. <laughs> We've only got a couple of bits more we want to cover, but Stevie, what? can you can you can you set the scene of this? Because oh yes. People are gonna think this is. B it's not. This is true. This is what I was laughing about on the podcast many moons ago. Mm. Now, mm. tell us about the dolphin, Stevie, and then. Shall I just read the headline? Read the, read the headline. And I'll tell you the. There was about a journalist to Cremanto saw someone done to them articles. Oh, okay. This but is the headline. Man rescued thanks to dolphins after 12 hour sea ordeal is 14. revealed to be. Oh. How long? 14. 14, 14 sorry. Was. Sea ordeal is revealed to be Frostbit Boy, the viral video star who found fame in 2015. Mm -hmm. Dolphin saved your life. It was 14 as opposed to 12, but. And there was dolphins in the water, but that, that was much earlier in the day than the time that the Coast Guard <laughs> picked me up. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll tell you how that came about. Whenever I got into the water, because whenever I whenever I was swimming earlier in the day, we were maybe only one to maybe or three or four at that stage. Mm. Then it was um, I I had seen the fans up on the water, and then I I, I was I was looking at them. Then I said, Oh Jesus! I wish I had googled this the, in, in case they were sharks. And I, I, I was see. I thought maybe they were sharks. So whenever I got on the boat along with the coast guard, then I had asked them the question. I says, um, is, is them, ma'am? Like, is them sharks, are they? And then they says, oh, no, they, they, them's only dolphins. They they would help you if anything else. So I, then I, I realised then there was the dolphins then, they, they and then some, somebody down the line got it onto their, their heads that, you know, these dolphins was in the water. And, <laughs> the, the, and, then, and then, then there was these bizarre theories then about apparently, do, well, maybe they are true, the dolphins have these great healing properties then. Apparently, dolphins do save people. This is what my mate said in the pub yesterday. And <laughs> my mate's a good source. <laughs> um, but well, I, I heard that at the time. Yeah, and apparently, sea lions as well have saved right. people because they're quite curious. But so, why were you having an ordeal in the sea? Why were like, you? Why did you go in the sea? Well, it was just whenever we came to the end of what I've already told you about the <clears throat> about um, me me trying to short myself out to get onto America and try, well, trying to make it at home and then uh, trying to get on there and then... And Don't then, tell me you were trying to swim to America. No, no, I wasn't just trying to <laughs> swim to America. Now we're mad, but we're not just that mad. <laughs> 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 but it was... Um, and so it was a, It was after I had finally went through all of the Constitution and I had went through my whole plans of just... I was like, right, I'm going to know how every bit of this new island looks like. And I had just about come to the end of sort of formulating my plan. And I said, right, this is going to tick... And a, an extraordinary man to do something like this. So I always say, right, train for the heavyweight and then enter the featherweight. Good. So many people have made millions. Many people have ran countries. These are not in themselves unique aspirations. Mm. But I never heard anybody do a thing like that. So I just looked over at this lighthouse then. I says, right, that's my castle. I'm the high king of Ireland. That's the target. Away we go. I just kept swimming and swimming and swimming. And away we went then, and I finally got to it after about eleven hours then, and I got and I got onto this lighthouse then. The, the, the dolphins had been in the water earlier in the day then, and then I just climbed onto onto the lighthouse then, and then just started giving out a few of my speeches from the from the lighthouse then. Did you? <laughs> then I was addressing all these crowds and everything. What there were crowds there? No, no, there wasn't. I just imagine the crowds. <laughs> <laughs> just rehearsing them in advance. So like how far were you did you swim? It was fourteen kilometers. What, in freezing cold water? Well, I uh, sort of acclimatised to it as it was on a while. It was warm earlier in the day. Had you ever swam that far before? Uh, no. What, what's, <laughs> what's the furthest you swam prior to that? Just, just the pool. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a few complaints. There's a few people who was... Compl well, do you know, there's a few complaints about that, but then you see, I was supposed to be going on to Holly and Fall right. to, to talk about this then, but then you see, they, they were afraid to have me on for that reason. Why? Then. <laughs> because then they thought then if, if if things took off for me over the head of that then then they were they were I think maybe they were just afraid then that I was um uh, no the young people was going to be encouraged just to jump in the water then think maybe they could do it then right you don't advocate for that oh no I wasn't encouraging anybody no. to do it it was just something I'd done it's just like a stretching exercise for me in the 
the almighty goal that I've shut for myself. When did you, so at what point have you come, how long was it between you coming up with the plan that you were going to swim to the lighthouse and actually getting in the water and doing it? Well, well, the, the, the decision to do so, in fairness, probably did take me about 10 seconds. Come, <laughs> coming up with it. Coming up with the Irish plan and that, that that was all just sort of going on with me at Covoid whenever I had nothing better to do. But you were just already there, you saw the lighthouse and went, I'm going to swim. Yes. Do you know, so if you go and do something like that, do you know, it dwarfs the challenges that's ahead of you that type of way. So now whenever I say, right, I'm going to go on and become the king of Ireland, it's just like, it's just something I'm going to do. Yeah. So if you can swim to a lighthouse. Yes. You can, yeah. And then, I sw- and then after after about 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I just got back in and says, right, Right, we need to swim home again there now and then just jump back in the water to swim home again. Surely you must have thought, I've just swam this far, I can't go back and do the same. See, do you know, that was the way everybody said it, but you know, it's, it's, and like, now as I say, I'm not encouraging anybody to do what I've done or anything else, and it wasn't that, you know, I was ungrateful to the people that got into the water after me or anything like that. Mm. Do you know, I I, I certainly was, and they, do. I hope that they knew that now, I'm at a point of trying to explain that to them and everything else. But, I mean, I did not feel that I was fighting death. I, st- I still don't believe that I would have died. Oh, so you think they, they pulled you out even though you you could have kept going? Oh, you I, did- I, belie- I believe so. You didn't SOS? You didn't say, I need to get out? They just came and got you? Oh, no, they, somebody had seen the clothes lying on the beach. And then I was, they just seen the clothes out on the beach and then all these helicopters and boats and everything was out then. <laughs> oh, my God, that's almost better than dolphins. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> And then it, it was going on all day. Apparently there's a whole search party back at the beach. Yeah, because it had been 14 hours. Hey, <laughs> All these people to... thought it was dead and all. Why are you in swimming shorts? It just boxers. <laughs> I was going to say, because you, you weren't even planning to go in the water. No, I, no so, I just, so I got on, and then I just got onto the boat then, and that was, that was all right. And then we just went to the hospital to... Uh, uh, my, 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 my kidneys were just a wee bit... Um, needed warmed up a bit, and then just my, um, my, my temperature was a bit low, but other than that, but... Is that the scientific term? Sorry, sir, come in. Your no, kidneys no, need a bit of warming up. But no, about half an hour later, I was ordering Chinese and beer onto the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen on DVD. <laughs> so what, what, and you said before you entered the water, you saw these fins and you thought they were sharks. <laughs> Why are you still going in the water? Well, there's not much turning back at that stage. <laughs> yes, there is. You're no. not in the water yet. I was in the water at that stage. <laughs> no, 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 he was... asked once he got picked up in the yeah, boat. But he, but he no. saw the fins before the water. No, there. no, that, this is um, a monologue. This is me talking to myself. I'm, I'm saying, you know, I wish I had Googled this. Oh, yeah, he's hours in already. I'm hours in already and seeing the fans then. Did you? Were you scared? Well, if they were sharks, but I just sort of says, right, well, do you know if they're, they're going to chew my leg off at this stage? I mean, it's, it's going to happen, like, so just sort of... Keep going. Just took the breath in and kept going then. And then they just says, um... <laughs> I says, right, well, it was, as you say, we're hours in at this stage, so it mm. was, um... No, just as I say, kept going. I mean, I sort of think if you show fear to any animal, they show fear to you. Right. Right. You're some man. You are some <laughs> man. But I, th- but I think going forward, as far as any election campaign goes, I think it should contribute to me messianic credentials as a man to get the to make the impossible possible. Right, yeah. He swam with sharks, mate. And now yeah. we're going to turn our country around. <laughs> but you can confirm <laughs> the dolphins didn't save you. I, I don't believe so, unless they transferred some sort of energy onto me. I mean, it, it, no, they didn't just, you know, grab me onto the boat or nothing. That, right. That, 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 that was journalistic romanticism, that. <laughs> hi, hi, Rory, mate. <laughs> what are you saying, man? You cool, yeah. Um, <laughs> the shit you did with the dolphins. Respect to that, bro. Just wondering if you're free at any point. Uh, we'd love to have you on the podcast. Not just me, uh, these two guys. Hi, here. Rory. And all of me! <laughs> You wouldn't be long getting brass, 